Good morning guys, today we are leaving the beautiful Krabi and we are heading to Koh Samui. We're getting picked up in about 5-10 to 10 minutes by bus and it's going to take us about 3 hours to get to Donsak Pier and then we have a 1.5 hour ferry boat ride to Samui. Right, this is breakfast for this morning. I'm not sure how you open it. What? It looks different. You, you open it like you open any banana. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning. Are you ready for some movie? Getting ready. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. As much as we like mainland Thailand, definitely made for island life. Bring it on. Oh, our bus is coming. Hi. We are ready for you. Today's journey will take us three hours northeast by bus crossing the province of Surat Thani all the way to the pier at Donsat. Once there, we will board the Sea Tran ferry for a 90 minute crossing before disembarking in Koh Samui, at which point we have no idea how we'll be getting to our accommodation on the other side of the island. Well that was a hell of a journey, that was three hours on the road in that tiny little van and we had a little bit of a nap but the driver was a little bit erratic and clearly in a rush to get us here. <laughs> um, nonetheless we've made it to Donsak here. Let's go to Koh Samui. We're going to get ourselves checked in in the terminal, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we go. We've got the Sea Tran ferry. We've got the cars going in on that side over there, and we're boarding over there. Okay, we just dropped our suitcases off down at the bottom. And we're heading up to the sky deck now. Wow! Look at that. Oh, huge! Ooh, ooh. You could land a helicopter on that. <laughs> we're not leaving for about another 15 minutes, I think. But um, they've got a nice kind of shop downstairs with uh, noodles, chips, Whoa. all that good stuff. And a view from up here. charging us 150 per person to get on a tuk -tuk. all the way to Chowing Beach which is really good well you don't get a luxury of aircon but you get the luxury of the natural breeze in your face I've never shared in such a small mode of transportation with that many people before. <laughs> First time for everything. Here we are guys, top hostel. Which is not really a hostel, it's all private rooms. Okay, so we have just done a really quick bag drop off. We're staying at the top hostel. Um, it's quite a small room, really cozy. You can't be in an argument if you're staying there. <laughs> and um, it's only $11 a night, so you get what you pay for, but it's right on Chowing Beach, so the location is absolutely perfect. So we've just headed out now and we are going to grab a well-needed drink after a really long travel day. It's been about seven hours yeah. since we left. Long time, so it's needed. So we've just walked into a restaurant called The Hungry Wall because they offer a fully vegan menu which is so rare in Thailand. I have ordered the Mexican vegan wrap and Adam's ordered the Omnipool burger 
We're so excited to see what they look like and we can't wait to taste them. The food has arrived, it looks amazing. I've got the Mexican vegan wrap. We need a cross section, quick. Cheers. Cross section. Oh yeah. We've got a portion of chips to share and then Adam's burger looks amazing. So you're gonna dig in? Uh-huh. Go on, taste this. <laughs> Go on, honest review. We've got a bit on the lip there. We've been to Burger King a couple of times since we got to Thailand. So we haven't had a proper burger for a while. A proper vegan burger. And that is next level. Pretty and good. it tastes porky. Really? It tastes really porky. Oh, I don't know if I like that actually. Mmm. <laughs> Lots of mayo, onion, lettuce, re really soft bun. Right, I need to taste mine now. It's really hot. <laughs> the whole it's very neat. Mm. Rice on the outer band, meat in the middle band, and then veggies in the inside. Salad. Smash it in, go on. Or if you have a Turkish kebab, like the meat. Whoa, I've never tasted that before in a vegan like dish ever. It's the first time. We need to get this down as because we haven't eaten the whole uh, at all today. No, nothing. We haven't eaten anything. Bye. If anybody in there watched us eating, it would have looked like we'd never seen food before. <laughs> but that's what a seven hour travel day does to you. This street down here before we went in to eat. It looked really, really empty before, and it suddenly livened up a little bit. Even got the police out. All along that main road, you can't see the beach, which is right next to it, because of all these resorts and uh, buildings kind of in the way in between it. So we found a little cut through, and we may actually be able to gain access to the beach from here. For well, it's probably seen better days that has. Found it. We made it to the beach. Look at the moon! Well, you guys probably can't see it, but the moon is there. And so the volleyball nets. We've got some music in the background, so... Chowang Beach may well be alive. So this is now the Gulf of Thailand. Up until now, we'd been at the Andaman Sea side of Thailand. This is a completely different body of water. And that was really warm before, so let's try it out, see how it feels on the old feet. Pretty warm, not as warm, but what do you think? Love it. This is like a little sandbar, so it's shallow here and then either side it gets deeper. Yeah. We've got sunset behind the beach because we're on the east side of the island and it stretches all the way down there. Man, we are so close to the airport. Well. Runway is just over there. It's really surprisingly busy here. I really thought that it would be a bit more quiet, but there's so many people out on the water still. And the water's really, really calm. Yeah. It's just nice to see people in their bikinis, just still out, even though it's like the evening. There's like someone parasailing still. Love that. So the sun has officially set on our first day in Koh Samui and we got here just in time for it as well. Yep, and the bars are getting really busy now. So we're gonna go and grab a drink for ourselves and enjoy the rest of the evening. We really hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did and also subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the rest of our adventures in Thailand. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.